web-based technologies. And in this session of learning PHP, we're going to be looking at iteration programming with while loops. Here we have an example of a while statement. So in our code, we've got a variable called count. Now this point is assign no value. I want to assign the numeric value of 10. And as you can tell by the name, it's going to be a counting variable. Let's progress down further in the code, and we've got our while statement. And there's no condition in the condition section of the, the while code. So let's put a condition in there. In this case, I just want to put the variable count in place. What this will do is it will check to see if the condition is true. And while the count is not equal to zero, it will always match as true. And if the condition is true, it follows into the code block. So the code will execute echo count and print the variable count value to the screen. And then deduct one mark from the count variable. So count becomes 10, and then count becomes 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, till it hits 0 and becomes a false condition. And it'll Ex exit from the while loop and the program will stop. So let's have a look at that in the browser and see how that executes. And there we have it. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 printed to the browser screen based on our while loop. And that's basically we've iterated through the same block of code until the condition of the while has become false. And that's how we do iterative programming with a while loop. Obviously there are other examples that we can use. We can use a fourth loop or we can use a do while loop. But they'll be available in other videos which I'll link to down below. So if you have any questions, by all means, go to the comment section below and ask them. Uh, if you like what we've done, give us a thumbs up or and subscribe to our channel. So, see you next time. Question. What happens if the condition never becomes false?